Corinthians chapter 6. Let me show you something. And I'm there. You're there. Yeah. How did you know I was going there? You were in the spirit. Right. You're walking in the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. What a testimony. Because yep. oh, I didn't even know I was going there. <laughs> well, I got in the spirit, so he got rid of me. <laughs> Praise Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> First Corinthians chapter six, and let's read verse nineteen and twenty. If you have it, say I have it. I got it. Paul said, "Or do you not know that your body, that's the physical body, mm -hmm. is the temple of the Holy Spirit right. who is in you, whom you have from God, the Holy Spirit that we have from God, and you are not your own, mm -hmm. mm. for you were bought." at a price, mm -hmm. therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. Amen. So it's talking about the spirit and your body belonging to God. And I like that it used the word are. When anytime we use the word are, we're talking about more than one. Right. Right. If we were to say it is, he'd probably been talking about the spirit. Mm -hmm. But he said are. He's talking about the body. And spirit. So our body, our spirit, our whole being belongs to the Lord. Amen. So whatever He wants us to do with it, that's what we're to do. That's like when you go and and you rent an apartment, and you can't do what you want to do in that apartment. There's certain things, you know, it's restrictions in an apartment. You have to you have to maintain that apartment according to the real to the people that you're renting from. Right. Even though you live there. Even though you pay bills there, you still restrict it. Well, see, we're restricted. There's certain things that we shouldn't do right. to our bodies. That's right. Abortion is not of God. Right. So when you say this is my body, I can do what I want. No, you can't. No. When you gave your life to God, you say, Lord, I'm yours. Amen. 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 So we have to we have to do things God's way. Mm -hmm. Now, now. Now, now. <laughs> Walking in the Spirit, like I said, is revealed through our unselfish love for others. Turn with me to, uh, we're going to start in the book of Gal Galatians. Right. I guess you, you knew I was going there too, then, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you just said, right on in the Spirit. <laughs> I'd rather see you in the Spirit than to see spirits in you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Galatians chapter 5, and we're going to begin at verse 13. Hallelujah. Man. The joy of the Lord in that, huh? Yes, yes. So beautiful. Yes. Galatians chapter 5, verse 13. If you have it, say, I have it. I have it. Paul says, For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. We've been called to be free. Watch this. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh. That's right. But through love, serve one another. That's right. Now Paul here, he distinguished between the freedom to sin mm -hmm. and the freedom to serve. Mm -hmm. Now, most people say, well, he didn't mention sin. Yes, he did. He mentioned the flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The flesh is, remember, the flesh is that way of thinking that's contrary to the word of God, mm -hmm. to the will of God. All right. Mm -hmm. So anytime we're directed or led by the flesh, uh -huh. we're, we're operating in sin. Why? Because the flesh is the enemy of God. Right, right. Hold your place in Galatians, so we're coming back. Mm -hmm. And turn with me to Romans chapter 8. Hold Galatians back, so we're coming back. And okay. turn with me to Romans chapter 8. I have it. Hallelujah. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, and I'm going to show you that the flesh is sin. Well, what he's talking about. He's distinguishing from operating in that way of thinking that's contrary to the will of God. Romans chapter 8, verse 6. Do you have it? Yeah. It says, For to be carnally minded, what is carnal? What is carnal? Flesh, right? Mm -hmm. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Watch this now. Why? Because the carnal mind, that carnal mm -hmm. way of thinking, mm -hmm. 
is enmity against God. So it has to be sin, right? Right. <clears throat> For it is not subject to the law of God, or we can say to the will of God, nor indeed can it be. Can be. Indeed. Now remember Brother Chuck played on words the other, <laughs> other week with us. Indeed mm -hmm. is not just talking about indeed, it's talking about inaction. Mm -hmm. That way of thinking cannot act the way God wants you to act. That's right. That way of thinking will not operate in faith. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. Watch this now. So then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Mm -hmm. How do we please God? Hebrews 11 and 6. Faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Right. Now pleasing Him, let me, let, me, let me explain this a little bit. He's not angry with you Amen. when you operate like that. He still loves you. Amen. Basically, the root of that is talking about you can't be in agreement with God. You, when you're operating, when you're operating by that carnal mind, you won't be in agreement with God. God is God loves us. Yes, you understand? Don't ever, don't ever lose sight of that. He loves you, but to be in in agreement with him, you have to be walking in the spirit. You can't, you have to be led by the spirit. You're not to be led by your thinking, your mind. I've listened to Bill Wilson today, and I like, I like how he put it. He said, when Adam messed up in the garden, man's spirit died to God. Mm -hmm. Okay? When man's spirit died, he, his mind took over. His natural thinking took over. That's the area that the enemy can deceive us in. But when Jesus came back, he revitalized or brought to life our spirit back to God. So God is dealing with us. He speaks to us through our spirit. What we have to do is get our spirit in line. Well, we have to get our mind in line with the spirit so that we are led by our spirit. You know, as uh, Christians, we're to be led by, you to be led by your spirit. Yes. Your own spirit in you should be directing you because that's where the Holy Spirit is and that's where God that's where God speaks to us at. So that's why we have to renew our thinking to get in line with the with the word of God or to get in line with our spirit man. Amen. So many of us are being led by our natural thinking. When you when you're operating with that carnal mind, that carnal mind will not operate in faith with God. That, that carnal mind is that old way of thinking before you became a Christian. And that old way of thinking is not going to trust God when trouble happens. That old way of thinking is going to call the doctor before he calls God. That old way of thinking is going to go and borrow money from a loan company before he 